Well, good morning, Eddie and B. Huey. Good morning to you guys. Good morning. Whoops, here. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, Elder Robert Carr and Elder Tracy Carr. Good morning. Yes, good morning, Elders Levi and Dawn Jones. Good morning to you. Good morning, Marsha Wright. Good morning. Good morning, First Lady Sharon Reynolds. God bless you, Dr. Rafi Reynolds. Good morning, Carolyn Berry and Mary Bolden. Good morning to you guys. Good morning, Gretchen Hudson and Yes. Yes, good morning. Good morning, Gideon Israel. Okay, thank you, B. Huey. Yep, we're gonna pray for your aunt, okay. Good morning, Pat Walter, good morning.
<clears throat> Good morning, Jared Erdmeyer. Good morning, Eric Perrier. Good morning. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started here. Father, we bless you and praise you this morning. Father, we take time out to glorify you. You said, according to your word. Yes. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. According to Psalm 100, verse 4, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Yes. Father, we enter into your gates Jesus. right now with thanksgiving. We're so grateful for who you are. We're so thankful for who you are, Lord God. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for your love this morning. We receive and thank you for your love. We don't reject your love. We don't reject your love. We don't turn our backs on your love. We don't spit upon your love. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your love and your joy yes. that you've given us. Thank you for the joy of the Lord that is our strength. Thank you for the peace that passes all understanding. Thank you for peace in our soul, peace yes. in our hearts. Peace, Lord God. Nothing missing, nothing like it, everything restored. Thank you for your presence, Lord yes. God. In your presence is fullness of joy. Yes. Thank you for your presence. That's where your power is. That's yes. where your grace is. That's where your glory is. Thank you for your glory. Thank you, Lord God, for provision. Yes. Thank you for health and healing. Thank you, Lord God, for your word. Your word is yes. living. It's powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing and dividing between soul and spirit, and even a joint and marrow, Lord yes. God. And it's an intent 
of, of the hearts of man, Lord God. Father, thank you, Lord God, for your word, the most powerful thing in the universe, Lord God. It's the seed. It goes into our heart, and it produces a great harvest in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for this brand new day. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. Lord God, your mercies are brand new to us every single morning. Thank you for that, Lord God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord God. For the ability to speak and declare your word that life and death are in the power of the tongue. We give you praise and glory. Your word says, enter your gates with thanksgiving yes. and into your courts with praise. Yes. And Father, we bless you and praise you. We say there's none above you. There's none even close to you. None can have the same page as you. Yes. None can have the same space as you. Yes. None can have the same time as you. Yes. None can have the same space, Lord God. Lord God, Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless you. And right now we forgive, Lord God. We yes. forgive we forgive, we forgive, we forgive. We yes. cast down every care. We lay down every single thing right yes. now. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever it is that, that just forgive right now. Thank Father, you, we forgive. Yes. People that's talking about us right now, yes. at this very moment, people that's posted about us right now, yes. at this very moment, they posting stuff and they trying to get points across and they trying to get subliminal messages out there. We yes. forgive them of all that, Lord God. We forgive people, we forgive them, we forgive them. People that's lying and yes. saying stuff, people that have done us wrong, they've hurt yes. us and mistreated us and done us wrong. We forgive them, we forgive them, we yes. forgive them. We let them go. Yes. We have no bitterness. And Father, we repent. We turn away from any wickedness or evilness yes. that is in our hearts. We repent. We turn away from anything that's not of you. We let go of anything that's not pleasing to you. Yes. Thank you for your love. Thank you for forgiving us. We bless you and praise you. In Jesus' mighty name. Now, Father, we declare and we go into prayer. And we believe according to Mark chapter 11. Hallelujah. Therefore, this is Mark chapter 11, verse 22. He says, Have faith in God, for surely I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Father, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, that death and life are in the power of the tongue. And today we're committed to speaking life and it has power. And when we pray, we believe that it's done in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. So good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Empowering Word Christian Center's Friday morning prayer service, Friday morning prayer meeting. I'm Pastor Alvin White. This is my lovely wife, Pastor Latoya White. We welcome you in the name of the Lord. We welcome all of our first-time visitors here. If you're new to uh, Empowering Word Christian Center, my wife, uh, Pastor Latoya, myself, Pastor, Pastor Alvin White. If you're new to us, we welcome you. We know that you're not here by accident. You're here on purpose for God's purpose. And you can find out more about us through our Facebook page, Empowering Word Christian Center, our website, empoweringword.net. We have a YouTube page that has all of our messages and services, um, Empowering Word Christian Center YouTube. And so we welcome you. And so in the name of Jesus, we welcome all of Kenya. We're praying for those in Kenya, Africa, and, and, and around the world. So praise God. And um, we're so glad that you have joined us. Well, you can like and share. You can like and share. You can like and share. Um, you can love and share. We appreciate that. Now, you are partnering in faith with us. You are partnering in faith with us. So we need you to provide prayer requests, things that you have, God has put on your heart for us to pray. 
So you put it on the timeline. Go ahead and put it on the timeline. Flood the timeline right now with things that we need to be in prayer about. Whether it's a personal uh, prayer request or maybe a friend's family member's prayer request or if it's something you see in the world, something in the body of Christ that you say, hey, we need to be praying for this, something in our region, something that's going on. You know, flood it, flood it, flood the timeline with prayer requests. Flood the timeline with prayer requests. Flood the timeline with prayer requests. All right? Flood the timeline with prayer requests. And go ahead and like and share so that people can see this. So go ahead and like and share it. Praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. And uh, hello, Don Stas and Alex Coletta, Dolly Coletta. Hello, Linda Tripp. Hello, Hen Henry Robinson, Phineas Scott. Hello, hello, Craig Burton. Hello, Kyla Foote and Jovan Foote. Hello, Rhonda Herring. Hello, Elder Tracy Carr again. God bless you guys. And Hazel Foote and elder stephen and rochelle taylor hello hello carolyn Mo yes god bless you yes, all right so um we're just going to go through this here flood the timeline with prayer requests what should the body maybe it's something that the body of christ you're saying hey we need to pray for this right now i'm going to pray for carlos conception he is traveling right now um, and so, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for thank you, Carlos Conception, our brother in the Lord. Thank you for your protection over him. According to Deuteronomy 28, blessed shall he be in the city, blessed yes. in the field, yes. and blessed in the air. He's yes. going to have the greatest takeoff and the yes. greatest landing. Yes. And, Lord God, protected from any sickness and disease and viruses Jesus. out there, Lord God. And, Father, he's going to do what he's called to do. Yes. Lord God, I thank you for it that he prospers in yes. Jesus' name. And Jesus he comes back name. home safely to his family. Yes, and your protection and grace is upon them. In the name of Jesus, Jesus so be it. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All right, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Uh, okay, B. Huey, you said pray for your Aunt Marlene Jones, who's in the hospital in Pennsylvania with kidney failure. Honey, pray for her. Father, we send your word to these Aunt Marlene Jones, Thank Father, you, that by the stripes of Jesus Christ, there's a miracle, yes. Father. We declare that every organ in the, and cell in her body is strong, yes. life sustaining, and disease free. We thank you, Lord, for a miracle. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. Thank in Jesus' Jesus. name. We expect, listen, and let us know the, the testimonies. As we're praying, we're expecting great uh, reports. So let us know the testimonies. Uh, Elder Robert Carr, continue to pray for Mr. Lawson's eyesight. Yeah, we prayed for him last week. Father, in Jesus' Thank name, we Jesus. come against the spirit of sickness and disease yes. and degradation in his eye. Yes, yes. No more. Yes, in fact, what I see in the spirit is like power going up. Yes. I see like there's... And, and so what, what happened is there was degradation and I see, Lord God, increase... Power yes. going up, Lord God. Whatever that means from a medical and cellular perspective, I declare health in his eyes in Jesus' name that improves not just day by day, yes. but hour by hour. Yes, Lord. In his body, a miracle in Thank Jesus' you, name. Jesus. Thank you. In Lord. Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, Pat Walter, pray for the church to hear God's voice for the gift of discernment, to discern righteousness from unrighteousness. Honey, why don't you pray that? Father, in Jesus' name, we pray, we loose the desire over the body of Christ, Lord, over the people that belong to you, to desire, Father, 
to understand and discern righteousness and wickedness, yes. holiness and evil, Father. We bind the spirit that draws them to the to the love of the world and the lust of the flesh and the pride of life. And I pray, Father, that their spiritual discernment is keen and sharp to yes. disturbances in the spirit realm. Thank you, Jesus. And that they are aware of things that grieve the Holy Spirit mm. in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And they're aware of associations, Father, that grieve the Holy Spirit and cause yes. damage to their souls yes. and interferes with their assignment Thank from you. you Jesus. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Um... Carolyn Moss, open up the eyes of our understanding so we can come even closer to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare over the body of Christ the ability to see, understand the word of God. Father, as, as I go on social media, I'm just letting you guys know this. I go on social media and, and there's different news stories and different articles and, and some of them are Christian, different Christian sites and things like that. And it's clear that the body of Christ is not on the same page when it comes to understanding the Word of God. And uh, the Word of God says in Hosea, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And in some of the understanding of the Word of God is so ridiculous, it's so horrendous, it makes me just, oh my gosh, I can't even read it um, because I have to put it down because it's not, you, you can't even stomach it when you have the understanding of the Word of God, when you have revelation of the Word of God. And when there's so much religion out there, there's so much religion, it's a form of godliness without having the power uh, of who he is, without having the revelation of who he is. So there's so much religion and misunderstanding and just really ignorance. But even besides that ignorance, it's, um, it's stupidity. There's a desire to be stupid about the word of God. Um, and so with that said... Father, we come against that spirit of religion and that spirit of being blinded. Yes. Let people hunger and thirst for you, Lord God. And as they hunger and thirst for you, they hunger and thirst for your word. And they get connected with true people, with true leaders in the body of Christ that are speaking the word of God. Yes. Not religion. Not man's made ideas and fables and concepts, but your truth according to the word of God in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Marsha Wright. Thank you. Yes, awakening in the body of Christ. Uh, First Lady Sharon yes, Reynolds, we yes, need awakening. Yes. We need awakening. Yes. Honey, why don't you pray awakening in the body of Christ? Father, I thank you, Lord, for... The fire of God, yes. Lord, the all-consuming fire of God to consume up things in our heart, Father, yes. that is not like you, mm. to uproot any plant and image, Father, that isn't the image of Christ, mm. that isn't the likeness of you, Father. So I thank you that the Holy Spirit stirs up the gifts and calling of God that is inside of the people in the body of Christ, Father, yes. so that the eyes of their heart are open to see clearly yes. the things of God. In Jesus' name, that they come out of the sleep and the slumber, yes. Father, that witchcraft and sorcery has placed on their minds, Father. In the name of Jesus. We break, we rebuke and break the spirit of religion. Yes. That causes the senses of the people to be dull yes. and insensitive yes. to things of God. And we thank you, Lord, that the body of Christ once again becomes sensitive yes. to the Holy Spirit and the power of the Holy Spirit. In, In the Jesus name of name. Jesus, glory to God. For depression, Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Linda Tripp, for depression. Father, in the name of Jesus, anybody that's dealing with depression, the reason why they're dealing with depression is because they have refused to receive the love of God. That's it. They have refused to receive the love of God. Now, they have refused it uh, either out of ignorance, they don't know about it, or they have heard about it 
and they understand it from a intellect standpoint. They understand it from a mental ascent standpoint. Yeah, yes, God loves me. God loves the world. But they haven't, re they haven't received it in their heart. They haven't received it in their heart. Because when you receive the love of God, it casts out spirits of fear. Yes. And depression comes from spirits of fear. Depression comes from spirits of fear. And what happens is when you receive the love of God, this is what it says in Isaiah. He says, put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. You cannot praise what you haven't received in love. See, there's people going to church, praising God, putting on praise and worship music, and they're praising God, and they've been praising God all their life, but they're still struggling with depression. Why? Because they haven't received God's love and so in God's love, now they're able to praise him because they believe what he said. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare people receive your love. Every single person dealing with depression, we break the generational curse because it can be generational. It can be passed on. It can be passed on. DNA it can be passed on. There are sources and points where maybe a spirit came in. We break that thing in the name of Jesus. We pray that anybody dealing with the spirit of depression, Lord God, that that thing is broken off their life because they receive your love. They understand how much you love them. They understand how much you care for them. They understand that you are thinking about them. Good thoughts, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give them a future and a hope that you, Jesus, are at the right hand of the Father praying for them, making intercession for them right now. Lord God, let them understand your love. And out of that love, they begin to love you back and praise you. And that causes a break in the spirit of heaviness in the name of Jesus. Fanny Scott, my son, Job Jeremiah. Okay, so your son's job, Jeremiah's your son and praying for his job. Father, in the name of Jesus, whatever is going on on the job, Lord God, thank you for divine correction. Thank you for wisdom over Jeremiah. Thank you, Lord God, for your grace and peace. Thank you, Lord God, that he understands your word about sowing and reaping the kingdom, Lord God, that you are Jehovah Jireh, his provider, that you supply all his needs according to your riches and glory. Thank you for understanding that his provision comes through you and that if things ain't working out at this job, you've already prepared something else for him at another place. But thank you, Lord God, that you have things on the inside of him that you've already put there from the foundation of the world. Lord God, as he presses into you, let him understand and see that, and that'll lead to increase in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And uh, Elder Tracy Carr, intentional, consistent in the things concerning the Lord. Yes. Yes. We talked about that where the last three of the fruits of the Spirit are faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And basically, that's that's consistency. That's intentional. That's where a person's true heart is. That's where their character is. You can, you can do something good one time, but that's not going to work. you got to keep doing it over and over and over and over and over. And so, honey, why don't you pray for that? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for the discipline in our soul, Father, to continue fervently to be steadfast, unmovable, and unshakable in things of God, Father, concerning things of the Lord, Lord, that we have the hunger and the yes. thirst for righteousness, Lord, and we put away and pull down all strongholds yes. and take thoughts captive and bring them into the obedience of Christ. Thank you for the grace to do this, and thank you for the strength to do this. Yes. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Safety and protection. Um, First Lady Sharon Reynolds, safety and protection as he travels in Jesus' name. Yes, thank you for agreement. Yes, thank you for that in Jesus' name. First Lady uh, Sharon Reynolds. Hello, Sylvia Jones. God bless you. Yes, thank you for powerful agreement. 
Yes. First yes. Lady Sharon. Yes. Miracles. Uh, Pat Water. Pat Walter. Pray against the spirit causing riots and murders. Yes. In the name of Jesus. So there is a spirit of division. There is a spirit of strife and division. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to God. In James 3, 16, he says, For where envy and self-seeking exist, confusion and every evil thing are there. So, if you're going to have murders and riots... It's because there is some envy and self-seeking. Because those are, it says, confusion and every evil thing are there. Father, this spirit that tries to rise up and cause itself to be worshipped. The self-seeking spirit, the enviousness of others and self-seeking. The spirit of strife and division, the spirit in the name of Jesus, the spirit of strife and division, the spirit in Jesus name. We come against it right now. We come against it right now. People need to be born again. Father, we pray salvation over people. And what happens is people get born again because the gospel is preached. The, the reason there's so much going on in the world is because the, the people of God are not preaching the gospel. They're waiting to go to church, click a button, and then say, okay, you got to preach the gospel. The people of God, Father, we declare that the people of God preach the gospel. They stop preaching politics and they preach the gospel. Oh, Father, we declare that people stop preaching politics and they start preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. They start preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Yeah. They start preaching it. So because you said in your word, he says in his word, how can they hear if there's no preacher? He's not talking about the fivefold ministry only. He's talking about every born again believer. We got to stop preaching politics and opinions and start preaching the gospel. So, Father, let a fire come upon your people, and they are stopped being divided by opinions and political, uh, uh, you know, uh, stances. And, Lord God, that we are kingdom-minded, and we start witnessing and causing people to be drawn to the gospel of Jesus Christ which will turn the hearts of the people yeah. toward you. And now all of a sudden, they're not rioting. They're not murdering. They're not racist. They're not bigots. That spirit is broken. Strife and division is broken in Jesus' name. Yes. Hallelujah. Hello, Alyssa Braddocks and Elijah Braddocks. Hello, Aubriana Saunders. God bless you. Carolyn Moss, allow his anointing to empower his people so this world sees a move of God. Yes, yes, yes. Honey, why don't you pray that? Hallelujah. Father, we, <clears throat> we thank you, Lord, that like it says in your word, in the last days, you will pour out your spirit upon all flesh, yes. Father. So we thank you, Lord, that those that are desiring you, Father, that there is an fresh anointing, a fresh breath of God blown over them, Father, so that people in the world will see you through us, Father, yes. so that we are true representatives of the kingdom of God, Father, yes. so that they, when they see us, they see Jesus, the Christ, yes. the anointed one. They see signs, wonders, and miracles, and they see the power of the Holy Spirit flowing through your people, Father, so that they can see the difference between the world and your body. Glory to God. In Jesus' name. So they can hear the difference between the world and your body. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Father, for a clear distinction 
of the goat and the sheep. Yes. So that the spirit of confusion mm. that is an, in the body of Christ that confuses the world yes. so that they see your sheep. Father, so that they see the wheat and not the tares. Glory to God. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Marsha Wright, uh, we want God to help us hear and obey. Yes, Father, in the name of Jesus, let people of God hear the word yes. and obey it. Yes. In Jesus' name, because you said obedience is better than sacrifice. Elder Levi and Dawn Jones, pray for salvation to the lost and backsliders for true repentance. Father, in the name of Jesus, we call in our brothers, our sisters, even parents and grandparents and, and uncles and aunts and family members and co-workers and neighbors that are backslidden, people that have left the church. We call them back into the kingdom in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Let a spirit, you Holy Spirit, convict them when they wake up in the morning, before they go to sleep at night. The conviction of the Holy Ghost be upon them throughout the day. And Lord God, they cry out to you and they call. Even this weekend, I declare calls to people that are strong in the Lord and they say, listen, I have been away from God and I need to get right. I declare it. You're going to receive calls. People that are listening to me and my wife at the sound of our voices, I declare that even this weekend and the weeks to come that you will receive calls from people who have not been right with God. They are they going to call you. They're going to email you. They're going to inbox you and text you and tell you they have not been right with God and they want to get right. And can you help them? And you will help them get right with the Lord in Jesus' name. Rhonda Herring, pray for people to not be offended by man, man and to stay obedient to the word of God. Yes, mm. the spirit of offense. Hallelujah. Go ahead, honey. Pray for that. Father, we bind the spirit of offense in mm, Jesus' name. I yes. pray for those, Lord, that become easily offended. Mm -hmm. Father, that they see that it is the devil. Yes. And it is the devil that is meant to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Yes. And to cut them off mm. from their assignment mm. and to destroy their life. Yes. I pray, Father, that they have a righteous indignation for the towards the spirit of offense yes. that comes to them, Father. And like the word says, they choose to not take up offense, yes. Father. But they guard their heart, Lord, because out of it springs the issues of life. So, Father, I declare over them, Father, a keen discernment against the spirit of offense that sneaks into the hearts yes. of people, Father, to snatch them out of your will. Yes. And I declare they stay obedient to your will and your way. In Glory Jesus' to God. name. In Jesus' Hallelujah. name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Uh, Fanny Scott, pray for me about so decisions I need to make. Okay, some decisions that you need to make. Honey, why don't you pray for Fanny's about that? Father, your word says that if we ask for wisdom, you will give it to us liberally mm, without yes, reproach, yes, Father. Yes, yes. So I thank you right now that on the other side of this screen that Fanny's is asking you for wisdom. Glory to and God. And you said you would give it liberally without reproach, but to not be double-minded mm. and be tossed to and fro mm. because that we won't receive anything from the kingdom. Hallelujah. So I thank you, Father, for the strength over her mind to be one mind and to hear clearly from the Spirit of God to receive wisdom and knowledge from heaven as to what to the decisions that she needs to make. I thank you, Father, that all of your ways are peace. Yes. And that the umpire of her soul, Father, tells her if if she is safe or going against your will. Glory to God. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, we're praying against the spirit of religion. Thank you, First Lady Sharon Reynolds. Glory Jesus. to God. Amen. Henry Robinson, 
that the body of Christ receives revelation of the importance of the demonstration, signs, wonders, and miracles in this current day. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we prayed, revelation and revival hit the body of Christ. And Lord God, that our eyes are open, that the people's eyes are open, that we got to have the signs, wonders, and miracles. We have to have the works. According to John 14, verse 12, the works that you did, Lord God, you are expecting the people of God to do. You, Lord God, uh, you are expecting signs to follow. And these signs shall follow according to Mark chapter 16. They will pray with new tongues and cast out devils and, and heal the sick. Lord God, you, you've, you've endowed us with power from Most High. And Lord God, let revival go through the body of Christ with signs, wonders, and miracles following. Let us preach your word and demonstrate it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Elder Robert Carr, pray that the men of God stand up for righteousness and leaving their homes in faithfulness in God. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It's the men. It's the men. It, it's the men. It's the men, it's the men, it's the men, it's the men, it's the men. When you have strong men of God, yes. you will have strong marriages. When you have strong marriages, you will have strong families. When you have strong families, you will have strong communities. And you have strong communities, you're going to have strong nations for God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare that the men of God rise up. That they take their place as the prophet, priest, and king in their homes. That they are submitted and yielded to you. And that it's not about being macho. It's not about testosterone. It's not about being in charge. It's about being humble before you. It's about reverencing you. It's about putting you first. It's about reverencing your word, acknowledging your word, and submitting to your word. It's about repenting and moving from the past and seeing the future. It's about moving forward. It's about having vision. It's about visionary leadership. It's about praying. Bring men back to prayer. Yes, yes. yes. In the name of Jesus. Bring men back to prayer. In the name of Jesus. Bring men back to worship. Intimacy with you, Father. And revival shall happen in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Yolanda... Mackie, how are you? Good morning. God bless you. Hello. Uh, Pat Walter, for the Lord to break the unholy bond my family has with the Catholic Church mm -hmm. and praying to Mary. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Honey, why don't you pray against mm -hmm. that? Father, we come into agreement um, with with your with our sister Pat, Father, yes. sister in the Lord, Father, that the spirit of religion, mm. Father, is in this ungodly soul tie with this denomination, Father, with this religion is broken. I pray they come to their senses and yes. escape out of the snare of the devil. Yes. Father, and that the spirit of religion and tradition is broken Glory off of God. their mind. Yes. And off of their will and off of their emotions. Mm. In Jesus' name. And I, Father, we pray for a perfect laborer that is just just right, just perfect for them, Father, mm. to come along and witness to them, Father, yes. in a way that pierces their hearts so that the word can be breathed on, Father, because mm. the seeds have been sown. Yes. So we thank you, Father, that they are watered, Father, and the breath of life breathes on them in Jesus' name. Glory thank to you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 
Hallelujah. Uh, Carolyn Berry, prayer of protection for our men, young and old. Yes, Father, in the name of Jesus, we're praying protection over men and, you know, young men, Father, in the name of Jesus, old men, praying for protection and we're praying for revival over men and that they come back to you in Jesus' name. Lord God, we thank you for that in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Fanny Scott, pray for my granddaughter, grandmother, and mother family. She just lost her husband of fa on Father's Day. Their last name is Lewis. All right. So we're praying for your granddaughter and grandmother and mother. And she just lost her husband. Honey, why don't you pray for that? Father, I thank you for your comfort over mm, this family. Yes. I thank you, Lord, that the tangible presence of the Holy Spirit comforts mm -mm, them mm -mm. and speaks to them words of comfort that no one else can say, Father. Hallelujah. We pray for peace, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. We pray for clarity and understanding. We pray, Lord, that they receive your love, they receive your joy, and they receive your peace, Father. Yes. And that your precious love is poured out on them, Father. And that, Lord, that the grief won't turn into long pain, Father. Yes. So I thank you, Lord, for helping them mm. and strengthening them. Mm. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Yes, Marcia Wright, that we hunger for more of God's word in the name of Jesus. And that's the word. That hunger, it's got to be a desire. There's a, there's a man who was, uh, Jesus is talking about, he desired the crumbs from the rich man's table. Do you know every person has desire? Every person has a hunger for something. Whether it's good or bad, they have desire for something. And so, Lord God, we pray that people, whatever the desire is, especially the people of God, if they desire something that's wrong, Lord God, convict them of that desire, that they would desire you in the name of Jesus and desire your word. In Jesus' name. Hello, Nina Washington Andrews. God bless you. And Linda Tripp, pray that people of God will be holy in their walk with God. Yes. Honey, why don't you pray that? Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray over the people in the body of Christ, Lord, mm. that this love of the world and this yes. lust of the flesh and the pride of life is broken off of them. In Jesus' name. I pray, Father for an awareness of things that grieve the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and causes a div causes a division yes. between them and you, Father. I pray they come to their senses and escape from the snare of the devil. Yes. And that they take seriously and desire their walk with you, Father. In Jesus' name. In Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Carolyn Moss, our president and those connected to him for a change of mind to filtrate true love of God will overtake their hearts. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for President Trump. We pray for his cabinet. We pray for all of those that are connected with him from a political standpoint. Father, we pray for their salvation. Father, we want them saved. And we don't want them just say, saying a sinner's prayer. We want them saved, born again, filled with the Holy Ghost, discipling, hungering, and thirsting for you. It's not acceptable that we expect Johnny and Susie who walk into the church to get born again and get discipled, but we don't expect that of political leaders. We expect the same. We expect that they, every single person bows before you, humbles themselves before you, grow in the Lord, that they grow in discipleship, grow in faith. So we pray that over 
our political leaders, even governors and mayors, Lord God, salvation and deliverance and healing. And we pray for righteousness. We pray for the love of God. We come against every spirit of narcissism and we come against every spirit of idolatry and worship of political leaders. We are not called to worship political leaders. We are not called to I make idolatry and idols of political leaders. We are not called to be poly parrots of them. We are called to declare your word. And Father, we pray for the the uh, the uh, faith leaders around him. Lord God, to speak into the president's life the word of God and not compromise. Lord God, that they won't be prophets that were the prophets of Ahab where they become politicizing the prophetic in the name of Jesus, where they only say what the king or the president wants to hear, but they actually speak the truth in the name of Jesus. And he receives the truth. We pray humility over the president that he humbles himself before the word of God. In the name of Jesus, that he hungers and thirsts for righteousness, hungers and thirsts for you, and not hungers and thirsts to be seen yes. or to be praised, but he hungers and thirsts to praise and give you glory. Jesus. No one gets the glory but you. you In the name of Jesus. Jesus Father, we, uh, hallelujah, glory be to God. Okay, Alex Coletta. Can you pray for my son Joey's scoliosis appointment Wednesday at the Children's Hospital? Yes. Okay, scoliosis. Honey, why don't you pray for that? Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord, for the, this precious young boy, Father. We mm. thank you, Lord, for a miracle in his mm. body. We thank you, Jehovah Rapha, the miracle-working God is working a miracle, yes. Father, and this will be the best appointment Ooh, he has ever had. Glory to in God. Jesus' name, we rebuke this infirmity in the name of Jesus, and we just thank you and praise you, God, for your hands of miracles around him. We thank you, Father, that the doctors have wisdom and keen insight, and they will even marvel, Father, at your glory. In mm. Jesus' name. I saw the spirit of infirmity. We break it in the name of Jesus. The spirit of infirmity. Hallelujah. Ah, glory to God. A serious of a seriousness, uh, Carolyn Berry, a seriousness of repentance when the unsaved come to Jesus, a broken and contrite spirit. Yes. Carolyn, honey, why don't you pray for that? Father, we thank you, Lord, that when people confess with their mouth and believe with their heart that Jesus is Lord, Savior, and Master of their life, Father, that they truly believe it, yes. Father, and that the taste and the desire of the world, Father, becomes bitter in their mouth. Yes. And that they run fervently after you. Glory to God. In Jesus' name. And that they will humble themselves under you, Father. In Jesus' name. Pat Walter, that the Lord will expose evil so enemy cannot have his way and the Lord would deliver us. That the Lord's will be done and seen clearly and hunger. Yes, Father, in the name of Jesus, expose uh, every single thing the enemy is trying to do. And Father, even when the enemy meant for evil, you turn around for your good. Yes. You waste nothing. Your prophetic agenda goes forth in Jesus' name. Praise God, Eric Perrier. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hello, Joseph Heron. Hallelujah. Praise God. Elder Rochelle, pray for the people not being fearful in this end time. Yes, Every spirit of fear comes off the people of God because they understand your prophetic agenda. In the name of Jesus, we bless you and praise you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. Your word says that when we pray, believe that we receive. So every single thing that we pray, we believe that we receive. And we thank you and give you praise. We thank you that our words are in the atmosphere. 
and they are doing business right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Glory be to God. In Jesus' Jesus. name, everybody said amen. amen. Well, listen, if you have continued prayer requests, leave them on there. We'll be praying for them throughout the day and uh, partner in faith with you. And you can inbox us personally prayer requests. Maybe you didn't want shown or whatever, or, you know, let the, you know, email the church or whatever. But we're in prayer. Praise God. Listen, this is Pastor Alvin and Latoya White of Empowering Word Christian Center. And we want to welcome you. We want to uh, invite you this Sunday morning at 11 a.m. Empowering Word Christian Center. Uh, tune in via Facebook Live and YouTube. And uh, we have our parking lot service this Sunday at 11 a.m. So we would love to invite you. Uh, 4010 East 8th Street here in Rockford, Illinois. God bless you. Happy Friday to you. Blessings over you and your family. We love you with the love of the Lord. We're praying for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye-bye. Like and share this. Like and share it.